Um, hey guys, um, today um, I'm going to be talking about some of the jewelries I have been purchasing over the pa um, past couple months. Um, <clears throat> these will contain chokers, necklaces, um, earrings, um, and one bracelet. Mainly chokers and um, earrings. So let's get started. Um, so the first piece is from Alexander Wen. Remind you, a lot of the pieces will be from Alexander Wen because I just love the brand, especially this year. I just feel it's a very versatile one. You can wear it with a t-shirt, a jean, uh, some pair of jeans, or you can wear it with, you know, like a more formal dress. But I feel this one really has some balls in it, if you, if you know what I mean. Um... Yeah, overall this um, leathery, this um, black leather texture, especially with the snake skin um, effect on it, and then the silver, uh, very shiny silver. I think um, these two colors create this really rusty, hardcore um, fe feeling, but at the same time, it has a modern touch to it. Um, very, very Alice and Nguyen. So I just love these. Um, and they're just so versatile. I can pretty much wear it every day. So that's the first piece. So moving on, after I acquired that choker, I just completely fell in love with Al Alexander Wen um, accessories. I used to not buy their accessories that much because I mainly like their handbags and um, clothes and jeans and stuff like that. And then I saw these killers in a counter. I just had to get them. These are so, so different, so unique. Um, these are practically a choker as well. I'll wear it just so you can see what it looks like on me. So um, it's pretty tight. I consider it as a choker too, but it's definitely a different choker. I mean, not your usually lacy or you know elegant tight um, thin kind of chokers this one is really got some characters i think uh, this spring and summer uh, alexander wins a lot of their design including their handbags i don't know if you have seen one of their handbags with a lock and metal chain kind of um, wrap the chain area on your wrist and then grab the handbag. I saw that in one of the runway shows, but I just love that design too. A lot of their pieces this year, um, spend the summer, especially for the accessory line, have these lock and chain um, uh, elements, which reminds me immediately of some, you know, BDSM community design elements, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I think they got inspired from that community, I'm pretty sure. Um, but at the same time, they're not doing exactly the same thing. Um, Alexander Wen is not using those like rusty, tarnished, um, you know, like handcuffed sort of uh, design, but rather he still choose to use <clears throat> these shiny metals. So I think um, although the elements are very BDSM-ish, but um, the shiny effect of the metal uh, still adds to the Alexander Wen-ness to it, which is very uh, modern, cool, edgy, and just don't give a fuck, that kind of attitude. But the problem is, after I bought this necklace, uh, this necklace, uh, every time I wear it, I feel like there's something missing, like the look is just weird. And then I analyzed, and I flipped around some of the um, lookbook from Alexander Wen and I discover oh um, the reason lies in the fact that I didn't get the matching earrings because my ear part feels empty because this is such a heavy statement piece on my neck and there's nothing to match it um, on my ears so it's kind of weird so I immediately went to the store and got these two pairs of earrings so one of them is silver with black I believe it's uh, marble, black marble. I <clears throat> oh, love them so much. And another pair I got was these <clears throat> silver and golden tone. 
they're exactly the same design except for the color. And when I wear those babies um, with this uh, with this necklace, the look is just completed. Just so naturally completed. You've got something on your ears that's dangling and that's shiny but heavy with character and you've got something on your neck that's, you know, practically a chain with a lock. So, I mean, you walk out of your door and walking in the street, people are just looking at you. But in a good way, it's like, wow, this lady's got some character. Like, don't mess up with her. <laughs> that sort of feeling. Of course, I'm not that kind of lady, but... I would imagine every girl, any woman who wear these, you know, statement jewelries and accessories would feel themselves empowered in a way. It's, it's sometimes even ridiculous or so supernatural that people would get empowered or they feel the pieces of jewelry they wear, especially these kind of jewelry they wear, kind of complete themselves in a way that in that, um, Maybe in one particular day she feels especially timid or not in her best shape and when she puts something like this on it just kind of adds to the power, just gives her power and then she walks out of the street and then just feel strong again. That's at least how I feel sometimes by wearing stuff like this. Okay, enough rambling. Um, and then um, I'll be talking about some of the um, other earrings I got from COS. Um, I'm sure you guys know COS. Um, it's a higher end um, fashion line <coughs> under H&M. It's the same holding company. Um, it's sort of like Massimo Duty, the relationship between Massimo Duty and, and Zara in a way. Um, I got these two pairs. Again, one of them is marble white marble so one side is white marble and then another side is this uh rose gold plate whatever you want to call it so some days i wear them this side um this side is just more um female elegant but since uh, i mean the color is very female but the material is marble it's a rock marble is a rock i know um and again i just love contrasts um, elegant, like colors, colors of elegance with um, fabrics or materials of power or you know s solid materials like this. I just love how they come together and then merge into this one little beautiful piece. And then the other side, I personally never wear on this side because I feel it's just mediocre. But I mean, sometimes if you're wearing um, some rose gold. <clears throat> jewelry it's good to pair them up with uh, this side and then these one are my absolute favorite when it comes to going to work I practically wear them for one or two months straight every day when I go to when I went to work um, these are so appropriate but at the same time they're not they're not overwhelming your outfit but at the same time they stand out from all the other mediocre work environment earrings you would wear these are because um it's not um it has a um, adjacent like ring here and in this part it kind of um moves as you go so it creates this very movement as you talk and nod or shake your hand and stuff like that and it's so shiny it's uh, stainless steel i believe so these are so cute i love them so much um they're like a more subtle statement piece for me. And then <clears throat> these two babies. Oh, these are my absolute, absolute favorites at the moment. Um, these are from Simon Rocha, along with the one I'm wearing right now on my ears. So I got a pair of red earrings and a pair of black. So these are from Simon Rocha. As I mentioned, um, I've been in love with her for the past half year pretty crazily in love. Um, she's an Irish designer. I think she's mixed um, both Hong Kongese and Irish. And her design is just so unique. And she uses a lot of chiffon, see-through materials with these big reds, um, like flowery, feminine 
um, elements to it. I mean, I don't mean the accessory line, but the clothing line. So she she has this very unique grasp of femininity um, in that um, she always uses a very sheer beigey undertone color and on top of it she uses some really popping out color like big red or big green or orange or something like that or black to create this uh, big contrast and then uh, on her accessory line um, she uses rocks like these pairs they are made of um, I don't know what's the English for the material but there's some kind of um, rocks and they're all handmade and the shape of the earrings are so unique it's bigger it's wider in the beginning and as it goes down it narrows down so it creates this it's almost like a knife like a sword you know it's like you're wearing a red sword on your ear and then it's like I don't know it's like stabbing uh, stabbing your shoulder as you go I know I'm rambling I'm like saying completely nonsense things again but that's how I can imagine these earrings um, to be at the moment but I mean look at the color um, it's uh, the lighting goes through the rocks and it just creates so many different <clears throat> dimensions of lightings and um, shininess to it and when you put them on um, sorry, I just have a mirror there, so I keep looking at myself from there. When you put them on, especially if you're wearing some big red lips like I'm wearing today, they really go together. And especially um, for if you're going to like a big evening event, these are really good um, differentiating statement pieces that will make you stand out from any other crowd. Just one pair of earrings, that's enough, more than enough. And if you want to tone down a little bit, you can choose these black ones. Uh, I have black hair, um, you will think that they will melt into my hair color, but it's not the case. Because of the rocks, because of the shininess, the lightiness, it catches the light um, in the room, in the space. So wherever you go, um, like, it's just not going to melt into whatever hair color you have. If you have brown hair, it's even better, but ladies, if you have black or brunette hair, get them as well. because it stands out no matter what you have so love these and last but not least um, I have to introduce these uh, Mian Sai bracelet I think these are one of the most brilliant bracelet design I've ever seen in my life see how they come off like this like a screw and you can wear them like this it makes the experience of putting on your bracelet is such a pleasure while um, usually putting on um, a bracelet and taking them off is absolutely painful for me because sometimes they they're stuck on your hand sometimes you have to like buckle something and you just can't can't buckle it but it makes it so pleasurable because it's like you're almost like working on a engineering project on your own wrist like women with you know metals and screws and stuff like that it's just fun you know um, I personally love the experience and then it's made of uh, pure silver uh, and then the shape of it is like a I don't know the kind of thing you put on your horse feet um, very unique shape um, and as you wear it, <clears throat> because it's pure silver, the silver tends to uh, wear off, oxidize. So it gives you that, you know, rusty look, which I love. So yeah, um, that's basically all the pieces I want to talk about today. I actually have more, but I'm kind of losing my voice here. So I'm, I'm going to stop here. But let me know if you like what I talked about today. I know some of them are more... Um, niche but these are really my absolute favorites in terms of jewelers and accessories over the past year uh, I do have a lot more um, like higher end accessories but um, a lot of people are talking about the same shit so I just want to introduce something different so thumbs up and subscribe if you like my video and let me know what else you want to see um, you know uh, 
going next. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.